Hi, I'm some guy. Hi, no, I'm some guy. That's Pete Cannon. We're here today in Fabric to do our 64 bar limited edition super duper Ableton special. So what are we doing tempo wise? Multiple tempos. 80, 84, 86, 120, 125, 130, 133. We could work at 84 and double it. Maybe a bit of like footwork, bit um, of jungle. I reckon we should do like a 160 type thing. Just have a flick through some drums. I use a lot of simplers. Okay. Which we have some really open. Which is just a sampler you can That's just drag and drop yeah. stuff into. But right? obviously time stretching is so good on it. I'd say maybe put the brakes on the audio channels and then we'll have the samples synced and that into the sampler. Do you put brakes in, you usually put it in as audio? Or do you I usually as... put it in as audio and then you've got like loads of options to kind of like copy it to MIDI, can't you? Yeah. Which is ace and then you can chop it up into what, a drum group? And you can do this thing where you convert the drums to a new MIDI yeah. track, which is useful for like... So we've got the chops. Yeah, and then you can layer bass drums and snares over your breaks. Or if we pitch it down. Oh, you know, you're showing me about all of your... Um... Yeah. Ableton has a time stretch the thing in it. Because if you look over here, there's the way you can chop the breaks, I mean, stretch the breaks, is beats, tones, texture, Repitch it, which is useful for just going with any pitch, what you're playing at in any tempo. Uh, complex. I usually use texture because it's got grain and flux. You get can, that old school time yeah, stretching sound. Yeah, it sounds like an old Akai, like a 950 or 1000. So you can double it up. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah, that should be that. Change the flux. And you can automate that in as well. So you can automate it by, is it this little button here? Yeah, and then you can choose the grain size. And then if you see, you can just move it. So if we just do a little... Or you can draw it in, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's hard. I reckon that's how the beat, I reckon that's how the track should start. Ooh. This is our template kind of thing. But you'll get the sounds together. Moody. <laughs> Pretty moody, isn't it? Something like that. Yeah, let's go with it. Okay. Let's just put it in. Let's just put it, let's just put it in. Let's put it in. Do you do the little cross so it doesn't go, you can go back round or whatever? Put that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's just a bit much, that break, do you know what I mean? Do you ever freeze the track? and yep. then drag it into audio. Mm. So if you make a new track, then that kind of time stretch version is there. Duplicate it, mute this one. And then you can maybe make it a little bit on the transients, on the beat setting on the time uh, stretch. Of course, because otherwise you, you lose that impact of the drums, don't you? Maybe you could add a touch of delay or something on there. Let's have a look. Yeah, do you use saturation a lot? Now and then, yeah. I put it on the drums, it's kind of like, sometimes an alternative to using a compressor just to give an extra little beat. Oh, big difference. Yeah, it? and it's got, you know, it's parallel, so you can add some uh, saturation in, and then you can change the kind of way that it's saturated what? with these settings. But I think it's just like a good alternative to right. give like, beef to, to drums, and maybe bass as like, maybe an alternative the compression. A bit of movement to this guy. Yeah, what do you usually do? Okay, a little bit of spread straight away. Such a maybe great little feature, isn't it? Yeah. Um, maybe... I did bring my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Just roll the button? Yeah. I don't have any go-to way of doing drums it's like i try and approach it i try and approach drums every, different every single time i mean like even now i've never worked with break i just but it just makes it more fun i'm actually 
doing something different. Yeah. Ableton has all like the, the classic drums in it, which I always go to if I want a 909 or an 808. They've got the core kits in the drum set up there. So it's always nice to just have a little 909. Mm. So you've got the really clean. Let's make a lot of, I used to make a lot of grime with these sounds. Like. Yeah, go on then. I mean, you could use some of those as well. Where's the, where's the cowbell? Boom. Oh yeah, and you got, got that bit Definitely of cowbell. In there. Well, the 808 cowbell is better than oh, the 909 one. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, let's get that kick down on the one. On the one, I hope. Just to like make the breaks a bit different, always quite useful. If you just chop the last phrase, yeah, and then use the looping feature. You never do that? No, I never do that. So, I mean, if you do, you can do it on the triplets, which is kind of kind of nice. Yeah, let's throw that in there. And then chop the last one, and then go. <laughs> Really go, and then you can move it anywhere in the break. So, I didn't even know you could do that. Ah. I love messing around the warping as well. Yeah, okay. Ah, sick. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I don't usually do that, but I usually do the chop. So, you've got it could go like that, but you get the time stretching sounds as well. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Right, so that's sick, that's sick. Yeah, like but that. if we've got that little bit there, how do you automate the pitch? Ah, there you go. Yeah. So you could go, as it's going... Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'd get an acapella and I'd put it into the simpler and put the slice and then you just, now you've got an option ah, of all the different... Yeah. <laughs> so you put the whole acapella in, do like the slice. Yeah. I usually put the whole acapella in, choose one little piece then duplicate the channel and then move the thing up. So I've got it again. It's a oh, bit I see. Yeah, backwards, yeah, yeah. But it's how you used to do it on the old Akai's. You just. Oh, you mean if you want to play with the pitch as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely niceness. Absolutely, Absolutely niceness. niceness. Yeah. These are all sick. Do you put it on one voice? Explain that, just putting it on one voice. What does it mean? If I had it on two voices, I can press two two notes at the same time. Okay, so it's just for the monophonic. One, no overlap. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay. Just use the filter delay, open it up. Setting in there, it's like just a simple filter. And then you can just... Oh, yeah. Also, it's got a little... Okay. And then can you pitch it all down as well? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I get a reverb on that already just to feel what it's like. With a bit of reverb, yeah, yeah, it sounds beautiful. Little listen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When's it gonna get awkward? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's just finding little pieces in vocals that you wouldn't even use, but. Yeah, play it along with it. Yeah, all right. And can you, uh, can, can you make that pitch down so it goes? Oh. Yeah. So, yeah, no, like record it. it. Record it and then we'll convert it to audio and then pitch it. Getting excited. <laughs> I then just hold it for like till nine bar and eight bar. Sweet. So freeze that, make a new channel, drop it down to audio. Do you ever like put 
one of your favourite tracks, like at the top, and just yeah. kind of look at it and yeah, just see yeah. where it drops. It's just understanding breakdowns. Yeah, yeah. How do you usually do your bases? I still use samples. Yeah. Um, sometimes, like, I've got a few old outboard bits, and even a bit of serum sometimes. It's quite good. What do you do? If I have a good synth patch, a virtual instrument, I'll play that, but I tend to, I'll tend to use samples as well. Sometimes I just throw all the bass one shots as audio, and then you can kind of like see your, do you know what I mean? So you can I use like five different bass one shots, and then you can kind automate of automate it. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Extra kind of sounds. Yeah, this. Hold off on the bass for a bit. Yeah. I guess that's the thing collecting a million sounds. See, look, this is from one of those videos that we were talking about. I've, right, got off, a, I've got a Casio season. Let's just start on the drop. Do you still want to use the brake or is it just more about doing the drums? What do you think? Um, maybe we could filter the brake. So the, we could have the brake in there. Maybe it's like filtered and then we could side chain oh. the hell out of it with the new kick and the, the new snare. Well, yeah. maybe it's about putting it back to the original speed. What do you reckon? I forgot this has gone half time, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Go on. So, you know, if you press H, if you press H, it just make, makes these all small. No, you blow my mind. <laughs> oh, the amount of times you just keep I press going. W as well. H and W, there you go. <laughs> H and W. I taught him something. That's pretty special. That break just needs a bit of compression or something. Yeah. It's just a bit. Do you tend to sort of try and mix it as you go along? Yeah, well, I, you want to you're gonna want to enjoy hearing it because it's on loop, isn't it? That's the only reason I do it. So yeah, having a template and use ozone a lot on the master, just really good for panning stuff and adding width as well. That ozone. Try a little glue compressor on the drum. Just put punch and parallel. Try that. Well, sometimes I'll just grab that last yeah. warp and then just Stretch drag it, it out. Yeah. yeah. So it needs to be like that, and then you can go on the texture. Yeah, the texture. Yeah. Get out of my soul. So. Okay, so that would go kind of there before the drop. Do you know what we call as well? It's like that last note on the on the pads. Yeah. If we bounce if we freeze this now, then do the Ooh. automation. Yeah, yeah. Tape stop. There's a plugin called Glitch, which has got a Oh great. yeah. Yeah, Glitch 2, so it's got an ace tape stop in it. Or you just can automate it on... I've got one called... Um, there's, a wave, there's a Waves plugin called, yeah? called Abbey Road Turntable. It's got different turntable options. Is it? Yeah, yeah. And oh. then you can just... Is that in Waves 10? It's in the new Waves Diamond, yeah. The waves hey. It's really good. I want you, baby. Oh, I told you all that the... Loads of reverb on it. Yeah, exactly. There we go. Pitch it down a bit, so the transpose again. It's amazing the difference that happens to a track though when you just add some kind of human, a human voice in it, even if it's just one shot. So drag it in yeah. and then it's ready. Chop your chops. Let's just put a yeah. roll off on that. It's a bit harsh, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. All right, keep going. Cool, keep baby. going, keep going. Some days you just, like, do you ever just sit there and just sample loads of shit? Yeah. It's like, because you you got a lot of records as well, haven't you? Just going through extra bits or just, if I'm not feeling like making a tune, just sitting there and just, just stacking this folder up. Basically, so yeah. you've got things like this, you can just. If that was on, one sec. And it was pitched just to fit. Yeah. 
Maybe it's about taking the drums out yeah. there and just having a... Yeah. yeah. That's kind of what, it's kind of the music thing though, isn't it? I Take thought you throw a lot in and then subtract it all once you've, went at the end. I was just wanted to put Strong one more gamma. bass stab in there to introduce on that when it cycles Yeah, it needs again. something more, a little weighty. Yeah. I like colouring things. Do you like colouring things? Oh, no, yeah, especially if I'm like using outboard gear and you're recording loads of stems in and you just get confused. Yeah. Kind of what, it's really useful, isn't it? So you want to do the kind of like break drop, yeah. then move that one next, and then for the next piece, it can Are we go, allowed to go past 64 bars? Yeah! So take the, you're taking the top break out? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then the break is coming in. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Or maybe it's just that, and then the break comes there just for well, a bit I kind of like the way it comes in. Fill part. And same with that. I can just be half time because it's going to come back round. I think the panning little pitch up bit is my favourite bit. Yeah. <laughs> this is kind of the stage where normally you would go, you'd start subtracting stuff in it. Yeah, that's like. Yeah, I just take the. The drum sounds in it, and the simpler, simpler is just amazing for just chopping and throwing samples in, in it. Yeah. Like that acapella bit, just making extra little whoop, yeah. kind of sample pieces. Um, I mean, yeah, what do you reckon? I love it. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, in two hours, and you know, it's not our setup, it's not our computer. Mm. We are, we do have the bits and we do have equipment and extra tools at home to have help us along our way, but essentially, it's all down to this, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's, the idea, man. I'm never gonna, I'm never making the song with you ever again. Wicked. <laughs>